Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be top 10 fragrances that I think perform amazing in heat and humidity. So these fragrances last the longest amount of time um, just based off my experience wearing them in extremely humid weather. Remember, I live in the tropics and they smell really good in the summertime and they perform and they last. So if you'd like to know which one of those fragrances or which 10 of those fragrances I think perform amazingly in heat and humidity, then keep watching. Now the major criteria for this list was performance. So obviously some of these I think are great fragrances, obviously would not be part of this list if I didn't think that they didn't smell really, really good, but you might not see them as part of other recommendation lists because I might think other fragrances smell better in the summertime. However, when it comes down to humidity, humidity, heat, summertime can take a huge toll on fragrances. And you might be wondering which fragrance lasts on my skin. If I put it on in the morning, I still want it to be there in the evening. And I also want it to be able to um, have a bit of a projection, have sillage, to have a presence to it when I wear it. And so I went through and I chose 10 fragrances from my collection that I know for a fact, A, perform amazing, like beast mode scents um, in humidity and also smell really good and are, are, and are, there we go, and are appropriate for summertime. So let's get into the list. Now this first one is the one that has the least amount of presence, but does last a good long while. Uh, when I first started wearing this, it didn't last as long. And then I realized I was getting olfactive fatigue from this fragrance. It was kind of like disappearing, but other people could smell it on me like way later in the day. And it's from Aqua de Parma and it's part of their Blue Mediterranean line and it's Bergamot, Bergamotto di Calabria. I can't say words, you guys know that. Welcome to my channel. This one I find to be the lightest of the scents. The little, it's a little bit more easy to wear than some of the others, even though these aren't challenging scents, very loud um, scents that have a lot of projection and presence uh, can sometimes be overwhelming for some people. This one on the other hand, it's very light, it's very nice, it's very sweet, but it's not like a sweet like sugar, it's like a sweet citrus, it's very juicy, and it just smells really beautiful in heat. You can definitely feel it cutting through heat and being very refreshing, which is one of the reasons why I really like it. I really love the entire Aqua de Parma Blue Mediterranean line. It's probably my favorite line from them, which is saying something because a lot of their fragrances are just exceptional. But this particular one from the lineup is not only really refreshing, so it kind of like hits the spot for a summertime fragrance, but it lasts longer than the other ones on the skin. I don't need to talk about this one too much. This one is just a staple. It's a classic. It's in so many people's wardrobes. It definitely will stick to your skin forever. And it is the classic Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This list could not be complete without me having this fragrance in here. It just, it's a beast. Um, especially for a women's freshie, especially for something very effervescent and very citrusy and very bright and somewhat juicy. I find that it stays on the skin for a very long time, projects like a beast and has like excellent sillage. So that's why if you're looking for a scent, um, if you already have that in your collection, maybe give that a try before you invest in something else. But if you wanna try something new, I have some great other scents as well. So a unique fragrance for summertime that I really like, which is kind of a transportive, I wouldn't say avant-garde, it's a little bit more, one of the more challenging scents in this lineup, but still is excellent, is Beach Hut Woman from Amouage. This fragrance has a real unique kind of sharpness to it. I don't find it negative. I find it to be very positive and that kind of like sharpness, like that woody aromatic sharpness that it can have, I find cuts through like Nambrox and just cuts through heat. But it also is loud and it sticks to your skin. It's like being tattooed on your skin. And it's a unique take on a summer scent. It's not your like lemon, bergamot, like green tea, white musk kind of scent. It's different, it's unique. And at the same time, it works and smells perfect in humid weather. One of that kind of took me by surprise for how long it lasted on the skin. I didn't think this fragrance was going to last as long on the skin, but it did. It's from Panna London and it's Icy Citrus. This one, I was surprised 
how well it worked. Like obviously I knew this fragrance was going to work for humid weather. This fragrance was designed for hum humid weather, but the length of time it lingers on the skin, I was really impressed with. At the same time, this is a fragrance that I got a little bit of olfactive fatigue from. I tend to get olfactive fatigue from freshies if I'm wearing them back to back to back to back to back. Like my nose is kind of like, I'm used to this, so it kind of ignores it. But this is a fragrance like hours later, and I mean like hours later, my mother-in-law was like, what are you wearing? You smell so fresh. And I mean, this was like eight to 10 hours later, and this was strong enough for her to pick it up. And she doesn't normally pick up my scent. So I have to say that this one performed amazing and is so nice to wear in hot weather. It just smells really, really good. It's a little bit different. It's cooling. It just smells sparkly and tingly. Um, and at the same time, it lasts on the skin a good long while and has moderate projection and sillage. If you're looking for something a little bit more grown up to wear, something that's a little bit more distinguished, but still is a definitively perfect scent that has a lot of power um, and a lot of performance for uh, summertime, New York Musk from Bond Number no. 9 is terrific. This one can be overpowering at times, but not in a bad way, specifically in heat. The musk in this really is just really strong, like in a really good way. There's a lot of just aromatic qualities to this fragrance, and I'm not going into the notes because I would be here for way too long. But this fragrance is like a hot knife through butter um, for a fragrance that just performs perfectly and exactly how you would want it to in humid weather. And I find sometimes humid weather can make fragrances like this heavy, hard to wear, just kind of muddy, and it doesn't. It adds a clarity to this fragrance that I think that this fragrance needs. I find that this scent performs and smells the best in hot weather. And I mean like super hot weather, I'm talking like 98, 100 degrees, like almost 100% humidity. There's just something really powerful and bold and, you know, cliche beastly about that scent. But I feel like it was designed kind of like a jungle cat to really be like the predator and you are the prey in regards to your skin. And that's a really bad analogy. It just works perfectly in uh, hot and humid weather and I just, it had to be part of this list. If you're looking for something a little bit more unique, a little bit more niche, a little bit different spin, not smelling like everybody else, but at the same time, again, really wearable and works perfectly in hot weather, uh, Fine Apple from Gallagher Fragrances, I really, really enjoy. The Embret in here is a little bit different and Embret in heat and humidity heat can come off a little bit more animalic musky like not like a refreshing musk like definitely kind of has that animalic qualities and i think that that's what makes this fragrance work really well in hot weather because sometimes white florals sometimes fruits can get lost in those fragrances or they can smell like just the other fragrance that has them in there but that amber kind of i think anchors a lot of those notes that could be lost or could dissipate after an hour or two and just kind of like holds them on your skin and makes them smell amazing for like 10 hours. Uh, this is another scent that I, when I first started wearing, I had a little bit of olfactive fatigue from. Again, I do get a bit of olfactive, oh, there we go. I can say words, olfactive fatigue, there we go. Um, with a lot of these scents, just because I do tend to wear these types of fragrances back to back to back. Um, and this is just a scent that, I mean, I was smelling hours later um, and other people were smelling it on me too. People at work, you know, John, my mother-in-law, my mom, they're like, what are you wearing? Um, and I was like, fine apple. And my mom was like, I need to smell that because that smells so good. Um, just a fantastic fragrance, lasts on the skin, unique, different, special, while at the same time being really easy to wear and a great weather, uh, great fragrance for humid weather. I feel like this is a tongue twister video. This is another fragrance that needs no introduction on my channel. Uh, this was designed for summer as a white floral fragrance for summer, Terracotta Le Parfum from Guilan. This fragrance literally transports you to a tropical luxurious vacation, it stays on the skin all day, projects like a beast. One of my, if not my most complimented fragrance, it's just Fantastic. White florals are something I love in summer and they tend to 
be amazing for hot weather and humid weather, but they have to be the right type of florals. Sometimes they can be too cloying, too heavy, they can definitely be too dated, especially when they're mixed with musks. But I find white florals to be one of my favorite um, notes and just compositions to go to for summertime. And another one that lasts on the skin, smells amazing, has beautiful projection is Fleurs d'Orange from Serge Luton's. This scent just is beautiful orange blossoms, got that touch of aromatic, a little bit of cumin in there. It just smells amazing, lasts on the skin for a ridiculously long time, and it blooms in humid weather. Now this fragrance I actually purchased and I was looking for something that was going to last all day in humid weather. And you guys know the story about the scent, so I don't need to go into it. It's Aqua Universalis Forte from Maison Francis Kerjan. This fragrance just again lasts on the skin, has a beautiful presence, a beautiful aura, a beautiful sillage. It lingers in the air as you go. It smells so sexy and just in humid weather, it just again just blooms and blossoms. Now freshies to me can be worn year round, um, preferably not like sub-zero degrees. But I find them to be really nice in cold weather, but I find them to be refreshing and almost kind of like a godsend in hot weather. But sometimes freshings can all smell very similar. So that's where I like things to be a little different. But if you're looking for not your run of the mill, but like a perfectly blended, beautiful, fresh, floral, but still unisex fragrance that you can wear in heat and humidity that's not overtly i would say it's there's not a lot of avant-garde aspects to it it's just a crowd pleaser that just works amazing in hot humid weather and i use hot humid constantly uh this again aqua universalis forte is excellent and it's the reason why I bought that scent was because of how it performed and how it smelled. Last and certainly not least is a sharp one, but the sharpness in this comes from some zesty ginger, and that is what makes this fragrance stick to you like glue all day. And it's Juliet has a gun Moscow Mule. This is a great boozy cocktail inspired a fragrance that again smells beautiful on that skin, that sharpness, that zestiness, that spiciness from the ginger really anchors it to the skin, but it's also just really gorgeous. And I, I don't like saying blooms, but it does bloom on the skin. It's when it hits the skin and you smell it on skin, it's really sexy, it's really attractive. But it just performs amazing. It smells the best in hot weather, and it's also unique and different enough that if you're looking for something that not everyone's going to wear, but you still want to have a fragrance that's on you all day, that can be smelled on you all day, Moscow Mule is a great one and definitely worth checking out. There definitely could have been more fragrances part of this list, but I wanted to kind of keep it to fragrances, again, like I said in the beginning, that perform amazing. So they have a presence, the projection, the sillage is louder than the average bear. At the same time, it stays on your skin for longer than you would hope a fresh fragrance would. Um, so again, like we're looking at eight to 10 hours on the skin. And at the same time, there's something about the composition that smells really good in that type of weather as well. And then some of these smell the best in this type of weather. So I do hope you enjoyed this list. There's obviously so many more fragrances that could be a part of this list. So please, in the comment section below, let me know your recommendations. What fragrances do you find to be perfect fragrances for humid weather? I'd love to know what you think. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you can be notified when I have new videos. And I will see you guys next time.